Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and I'm still coming to you from the living room where I'll potentially be for the next two to, well, maybe even eight weeks, depending on how this goes with the foot. So, can't walk at the moment, but I can still bring you a Digibyte update video, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So, I'm going to start off and show you some of what's been going on here. So, let's start with the README update. This is kind of cool because we've had a lot of stale information there. Uh, so thank you to YKagle for going through and updating this. This is now updating some of the information that's still referenced. I think it was even 2019. It's actually, I can click on this here and show you what it references. Um, specifically, we are talking about, yeah, here we go, April 2019. So it's probably pretty good to get that updated. <laughs> Just kind of housekeeping, if you know what I mean. Speaking of housekeeping, uh, Yoshi's actually gone through. Um, he has gone and added the Digibyte logo, which looks really slick now. Uh, he's fixed the shield there, the copying shield, which I'd done. And I think if we go back here to code, under develop, we now have the Digibyte blockchain logo there as well. So that's pretty cool. Something nice, a little subtle there. He's also fixed up the MIT license, so thank you for doing that as well. Uh, and what's also really cool is we can see here that the pull requests, 40 closed, command activity, is ticking up in real time as we do this. Now, the really important part here is you can see the release date, May 2019th. That is soon going to change. Now, we've got here a Medium article that I wrote on continuous integration for Digibyte and version 8. Uh, I go into a little bit of the details around this continuous integration things uh, where basically every time you make a commit, it, it checks it and it runs through a few automated, well, checks, really. Um, but the big question here is, aren't we working on Digibyte version 8? To which the answer is yes. However, all of this other stuff that we've been doing is specifically to lay the foundation for version 8. Um, so what's the plan? When do we get Digibyte version 8? Now this is the really, like, what everyone wants to know. First of all, we're going to be releasing 7.17.3. Uh, this is basically going to be the same as 7.17.2, which we've got right now, but with a few other minor tweaks and fixes. Um, I mean, actually, I say minor, but frankly, there has been a ton of work that's gone into this, and it's really going to cement the foundation for the future. So, if you're currently running 7.17.2, I hate saying that, fuck, it's such a mouthful, isn't it? If you are currently running 7.17.2, there's probably not a reason, not a lot of reason for you to upgrade, because it's practically identical. Uh, 7.17.3 is going to include a few little tweaks and fixes, and they're not little, I've got to stop saying that, really. They're, they're pretty big fixes in terms of the unit tests, really. Um, but in terms of it being, like, end-user facing, like, as in, there's no consensus level changes, um, there's no new RBC calls, uh, there's no additional bug fixes, there's no performance tweaks, that kind of thing. But... It's actually pretty big what has gone on to this release. And so that's why it's really cool and we're getting this out so that then we can take this steady foundation and use it to give us version 8. So with that in mind, what we've been doing is fixing up the Gitian build process. Now Gitian gives us reproducible builds. This is really important because what it means is you can have certainty that somebody has taken the source code that you see here on GitHub. And when they've compiled it, they haven't kind of slipped into anything nasty. And so we've already been doing this for a while, this Gitian build process with reproducible builds so that anybody can verify and validate them. But this is tidying it up specifically a little bit more, just updating it given it's been two years and some of the URLs aren't quite right. Uh, we've also gone and fixed up the GPG keys as well, which is going to be cool because we're going to need this. Uh, we've gone and done the version bump, which is incrementing it from 7.17.2 to 7.17... <laughs> I hate saying that. This is why I think for the next one we're just going with Digibyte 8. Like, that's just it. I think we're just sticking with 8. None of this extra fluff around the end there. It's just 8. <laughs> but... We've done all this print work. Now, like I mentioned specifically back here in this Medium article, which I'll include a link to down below, we have been doing things in the background. So, like I say here, what you're going to see now is on GitHub, more work being done merging the Bitcoin Core 0.21. Um, there will be a bunch of stability improvements, feature enhancements, and you're going to see them kind of coming in pretty thick and fast. Now, I'm going to include a link to this down below. 
uh, here we go. The good news is that a lot of the code has already been done for a number of these items, and it's simply going to require smaller amounts of modification for each of them to work with this new code base, 7.1, 7.3. Expect that a lot of these will come pretty quickly now that we've got the improved foundation to go off, which is cool. So, progress is great, even just with version 7. Still great progress, still great to have, still fantastic if you are one of the, say for example, a larger exchange, or a business, or a company, or even just an individual doing a startup that is looking to build it on top of Digibyte this will give you that certainty and that's also what we're doing again with uh getty in here is that certainty um so again i actually i don't think i mentioned this before but i want to give a, a big shout out to digi contributor gary um thank you for all of the help with the gideon build process he's been amazing um he does a lot of stuff for digibyte as well and uh, doesn't get anywhere near enough of the praise or the credit but he is amazing and incredible so thank you very much to gary for that really appreciate it um but yeah so specifically uh, i'll include a link to this because this includes a bunch of um interesting details about what we've been going through and things links down in the description and i hope you'll take the time to go through and read it and you're excited that we are taking this next step with version 7.1 7.3 i hate saying that so much <laughs> and with 7.1 7.3 we've got the foundation. So this is going to be coming out really, really soon. We're just running the Gitty and build process now. Uh, I'd expect to see it potentially even within the next couple of days. Uh, and like I mentioned, work is still ongoing with version 8. Yes. So excited for that. Like, really excited. I can't tell you how excited I am. Anyway, that's going to be all from me for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Consider leaving a like, subscribe, hit the share button. You can reach out to me in the comment section below. Hit me up on Twitter. Otherwise, I'm at DGB underscore chilling. And if you do have questions, again, about the build process or about what we're doing with version 8 and things, feel free to ask. Hit me up. We'd love to help you out. Anyway, we'll talk to you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll be real soon. We'll keep you up to date with everything that's going on. Cheers.